Hi guys, hope you're well. So as we come towards Stir Up Sunday and Christmas, I'm gonna give you what you've all been asking for, which is my Christmas pudding recipe, which I love, and I think it's delicious and that little bit lighter. So it all starts over here, these beautiful dried fruits. So 150 grams of beautiful dried cranberries, raisins, and then Majore dates, which I absolutely love. 150 grams again, squeeze the little pips out. The Majore dates will give you the sweetness, that fantastic kind of sticky toffee flavor. Just chop through them till nice and fine. In they go as well, apricots, chop those up. 150 grams of pecan nuts, crumble them in your hand, really nice. One of my secret little ingredients is the crystallized ginger. Finely slice those, that incredible fresh flavor of ginger, and it just smells amazing. For the next secret little ingredient, get a small sprig of rosemary, remove the stalk, and then finely slice the rosemary. It works incredibly well with fruit. Then, the flavor of Christmas itself, clementine. Lightly grate the zest. The zest is full of all the oils and the flavors in with the juice. Now, let's get into some of the sort of structural ingredients that hold it together. First up, I've got 75 grams of good quality breadcrumbs, okay? This is gonna make it lighter. 150 grams of plain flour, go straight in, and then 150 grams of suet. Now, you could use butter, but I prefer to use suet. You get a different texture, really scrunch it together. The great thing about this job is you can do it in advance. It's a lot of love just sitting there, waiting to be cooked, on the big day. So it's really, really nice. Now, once you've mixed it up beautifully, we can add the two last ingredients that will bring it together to be that amazing pudding. And that will be one free range organic egg, boom, and then 200 milliliters of lovely organic milk. Get it in there. They call it stir up Sunday because you're supposed to use a spoon, but this is a Jamie Oliver recipe. So it's not stir up Sunday. It's scrunch up Sunday. Come on. And here we go. There is our beautiful, pudding mixture. So get yourself a pudding bowl and butter. Quite generously sort of cake it because that is going to stop your pudding from sticking. It's also going to naturally baste. It's going to make it sweet and delicious. Take the filling here and I'm going to donk it in. Make sure it's nice and level so that you don't get a wonky pudding. Very nice. Next up, two very important parts of the procedure. First of all, we make a cartouche. Take a square, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and again, and again, and again. And then very simply cut your little hat. So once you've got that on, then we want to get two bits of tin foil, place it on top, go around the rim with some string. Do a double knot and tie it as tight as you can and then you're left with this overhang. Go around the other side, making a little handle. There we go. Pudding goes into the water. The water is halfway up the pan. Cook this for four hours on a medium low sort of simmer, right? And we'll check it every hour and top up the water if we need it. That steaming action is gonna give you lightness, it's gonna give you moisture, it's gonna be amazing. Right, four hours, a little clean down, and I'll show you what to do next. So beautiful people, four festive hours have gone before us and now we are left with this, the great Christmas pudding. Uh, but let's serve this beautiful thing. I mean, come on, look at that. Cut the string off, get rid of that. Get a nice little cake dish or plate, put it on top, get yourself a cloth, hold the bowl and the plate and simply flip it over. And if you're lucky, you should have the most beautiful Christmas pudding. It smells incredible. All you need to do now is flame and flame safely. So you ready for this? Kill the lights and let's do this safely. So now let's show you how to flame it safely. Go to the lovely little alcohol cupboard of your granddad or your dad. Uh, take one of his finest bourbons, cognacs, whiskies. Get yourself a pan and get it sort of on a medium heat just for a minute or so. Put a good slosh in the pan and then just angle it towards the flame or light it with a match. Be careful. We do not want Christmas to end in tears. Gently pour on top of the Christmas pudding. The alcohol is burning away and you're being left with the incredible flavor of Christmas. And this, my friends, is when you sing, wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy, new, safe, yeah, don't burn the house down. The flavor from that burn off alcohol will be phenomenal. Right, let's get the lights back up, as if by magic. Okay, so let's cut a portion of this gorgeous Christmas pudding. Look at that, come on. So you can tell if you look at the texture that it is beautiful. I'm going for cream, and there you go. Mmm, 
my little tweets. I hope you like because it's that little bit tastier and that little bit lighter. Hallelujah. Guys, good luck. Enjoy it. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Take care.